Well, thanks for visiting us this morning at KTALnews.com. I'm meteorologist Josh Morses, and this is your Monday morning forecast update. I think the weather script today is going to be a lot like the weekend. We'll have those kind of cloudy and warm mornings, and by the time we reach the afternoon today, some scattered storms will likely develop. And uh, as has been the case over the last week, there's a little bit of uncertainty just as far as the timing of the storms and how widespread they will be. But I think this will be similar to the weekend and that we should see some scattered to widespread storms later this afternoon this evening and of course severe weather on the table as well mainly for some damaging wind gusts but we'll get to that in just a moment so what we're watching this morning there goes the uh, round of storms that uh, plowed through overnight again we had a, quite a few reports of wind damage with the storms late Sunday and I uh, do have a little rain popping up this morning that will make its way through Arkansas especially around sunrise here and uh, watching another cluster of storms develop uh, back here towards Oklahoma City so our storms again likely going to develop here along the red River between Texas and Oklahoma and uh, thinking is, is that will be dry for most of the morning. I would not be surprised if the storms came in just a little earlier than expected today, but I do expect those uh, chances for rain and storms will shoot up after about 2 p.m. today. We'll take a little while for the atmosphere to just kind of get warmed up and uh, prime for some of these storms, which is I think we won't see much this morning, but we'll likely see that better push of rain and storms this afternoon. Main threat today is going to be uh, for some damaging wind gusts. We're in that level two slight risk outlook. So again, not a severe weather outbreak. It's uh, not a low threat for severe weather. This is kind of our standard level two, which means we'll likely see some scattered severe weather reports today. Wind damage will probably be the main thing that we see. There's a uh, moderate threat maybe for some hail, still a very high threat for some flash flooding as well and can't rule out maybe a brief tornado, but the uh, last few systems that have moved through haven't produced any tornado warnings. And hopefully that will be the case again today as this will likely uh, be mainly wind and heavy rain moving through later this afternoon this evening. So your temperatures did cool into the 60s thanks to some of that rainfall on late Sunday. So we've got at least a few comfortable hours uh, out and about this morning. Warm, humid afternoon as your highs will rebound and likely reach the mid to upper 80s and that warm air will kind of help to trigger some of those storms later today. So look at Robin's Toyota Futurecast. Uh, I wanted to use this model here. This is the HRRR. Uh, highlights the rain that we're seeing this morning. So we know the model's probably initialized pretty well here. And it does show, uh, again, those storms moving out of Oklahoma and Arkansas maybe early this afternoon. And don't discount maybe uh, a few storms rolling up from the coastline as well. So this will all kind of converge on us uh, by the late afternoon, early evening. And you can see maybe the heavier rain uh, pushing towards the I-30 corridor here. Good bet that some of this will linger past sunset tonight. And there may be uh, one other round maybe overnight or early on Tuesday morning that we'll have to be on the lookout for. But I think the main uh, threat today will be carrying through the afternoon and evening. And the weather Prediction Center after Wednesday, we are going to dry out a bit this week. So the majority of the rain uh, that we'll see on the map here will occur from today through Wednesday. And it's probably underdone. We know all of these uh, big complexes of storms that have rolled through have dropped a quick one to two inches of rain. So I think the rain's probably a little bit underdone from the Weather Prediction Center, but we're still showing, uh, again, a few areas here, especially in the northern Arkletex that could see maybe one to two inches of rain through Wednesday. And if you get uh, storms today, storms tomorrow, and storms Wednesday, if you get three rounds of this week you could easily see over three inches of rain here in some of these spots that's why we can't rule out maybe some uh, localized flooding as well and we'll keep the rain chance uh, fairly high here through at least Wednesday I think we'll pull in somewhat drier air so we'll be back close to 90 degrees average high is now about 89 90 and we'll stay very close to that line throughout the week but uh, late this week we'll kind of lose uh, the storms that have been coming in from over in Texas we'll be out of that uh, flow that northwest flow that's been pushing these storms in here so uh, late this week, we just have those 20% chances for rain. That's just the heat and the humidity and the sea breeze activating every afternoon. So we could see just a few spotty showers and storms there and a lower likelihood of any severe weather late this week and into the weekend.